Hello, I'm Sophie Walker. I'm the Chief of Party of Aflastop. Aflastop is a USAID funded and Bill and Melinda Gates funded program implemented in Kenya. It's investigating storage devices that will prevent increases in aflatoxin during storage. It's investigating drying machines that will help farmers reduce moisture from 18, 15% down to 13 and so they can store grain in the devices we're testing. And then it's looking at how do we commercialize any successful devices that will help address the post-harvest aflatoxin problem. Aflastop has proven to date that hermetic storage controls aflatoxin increases over time, significantly reducing the increases if you leave your maize in a polypropylene bag. It's proven that aflatoxin increases are the same at 15% moisture or 13.5% moisture, but we've also proven that's irrelevant because if you store your wetter maize in a hermetic device, you have silaging effects. Smelly, smelly maize, dead fish, nobody's going to eat it and it's not going to be successful with smallholder farmers. We've proved that just because a device works for aspergillus fungus, it doesn't work for fumonism fungus. So our fumonism results carried on increasing in hermetic storage. So one solution is not going to solve all of the mycotoxin problems in East Africa. In stopping aflatoxin, our program is looking at the post-harvest point. But that means that our grain already has a contamination level. So it's not the most promising part of actually preventing the whole problem of aflatoxin. Interventions like the inoculation from Aflasafe, where you treat the land so that the maize comes off it clean, are much more promising in that you have clean maize. But we're talking about millions of acres of land that are contaminated just in Kenya. And you add Tanzania and Uganda, we're talking about a vast area. And the ability to treat all that land within, the ti within short time frames is just unachievable. So we're going to have maize in the system for the moment that's contaminated. And it increases. While it's in storage, its, it's aflatoxin levels continue to increase, sometimes incredibly rapidly. And therefore, interventions that stop that increase in storage at least mean what you have doesn't get worse. It's not great. It's not fantastic. We still are eating contaminated maize, but it's not five times as contaminated five months later than if you started. And if you're a farming household and you've saved your maize, the maize you have on the first month and the maize month that you have in the fifth month, that's five times worse. Your children are eating maize that has unbelievably high levels. So no, Aflastop's not going to solve the problem, but it, makes, it mitigates, it makes it from getting worse. Can they afford the device? Maybe not. But can we afford the public health risk of them eating contaminated food. So whether there's a commercial strategy or a subsidized commercial strategy to get these devices to the farmers, ultimately we're improving public health, which is an essential step forward in this problem. <laughs>